My very first film was nominated here. And here I'm back again with the father, Christopher Hampton's and Florian Zeller's script. And the film is very, very moving. Have you fulfilled your dream with this play? With this film? This play, this story that became this film, is um, it now fully realized? Yeah, as I told you, the, the first dream was to do it with Anthony Hopkins. It was like a dream. Dad, I'd like you to meet Laura. I say you're gorgeous. Thank you. <laughs> The Vietnamese love theater, they love Molière, Sartre. <laughs> so what do you have to say to young Vietnamese who, because the government is not supporting theater or culture, what is your advice to young writers who are hungry to write, but they have a problem with censorship? I come from somewhere where you can do whatever you want. But I think when you have a strong desire or the necessity to do something, you always can find ways to do it, you know, whatever or wherever you are. So I think what is important is the desire, that's all. What reading material do you recommend as a French playwright? Because the Vietnamese read in French and they're learning to read in English. What could help them to join the international theater world because they've been so repressed for so long? I don't know, I would say maybe all the English writers, don't you think? They are the best. Our friend, Christopher Hampton. What was your favorite when you were young and a writer? As English writers? Yes, your authors. Your... I, I, I would say Harold Pinter. How do you say that in English? Pinter? Harold Pinter. Exactly, Harold thank you. Pinter. Yeah, I mean, I understood thanks to him that what matters is not the sentences, but what is behind the sentences, behind the words, what is not visible. You're living with your daughter at the moment? Yes, until she goes to live in Paris. No, Dad, why do you keep going on about Paris? You told me. No, I didn't. I'm sorry, Anne, you told me the other day. Have you forgotten? She's forgotten. <laughs> Paris. They don't even speak English there. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Very, very proud of you boys. Good writing is always appreciated, needed and very hard to do.